the caveman principle shows why many things never materialized. The paper people city, the commuterless city. So why don't we adopt all these great technologies? Because of the caveman or cavewoman principle. We're still hunter-gatherers of, of 100,000 years ago. Take a look at Google's uh, intelligent glass, for example. Because we're simply the cavemen and cavewomen of old, we will always feel uncomfortable if someone is staring at us and recording every move we make because we are hunters. We don't like to be hunted. Who are we when we can digitalize the human brain? We're now digitalizing aspects of our human body. And what happens when we become near immortal? We are now isolating the genes that control the aging process. Some people fear robotics, but one possibility is that we will merge with our creations. At the soccer games in Brazil, the man who kicked the football, seen by a billion people, was paralyzed. So the whole concept of homo superior is not so far-fetched. A combination of genetic engineering and digitalizing our limbs, for example, and connecting them directly to the brain, may create uh, enhanced versions of, our, of ourselves. Some people fear the unknown, and I think that's actually healthy. You win people over by example. And when people realize how useful this technology has been, then they begin to realize, hey, this is a step forward, not a step backward. Wealth comes from science and technology. The first wave of wealth creation was the steam engine and the industrial revolution. The fourth wave of wealth generation is different from the other three, steam power, um, electricity, and computers and high technology. The fourth wave of wealth generation will be artificial intelligence, nanotechnology, and biotechnology. They will be the engines of wealth creation in the future.